Welcome to the Travel Smart channel. Today I want to share with you some information about what I consider to be one of the best hidden travel gems in the United States, Twin Falls, Idaho. And I'll go through our top seven attractions in Twin Falls, Idaho. If you feel we missed something that's in your top seven, please let us know in the comments. If you enjoy the video, please push that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Travel Smart channel as we'll be sharing lots of fun travel destination videos as well as some great travel hacks that can help you travel smart. Let's start with number seven, countdown to our number one fun attraction in Twin Falls, Idaho. At number seven, we have Elevation 486. No trip to Twin Falls would be complete without dining at Elevation 486. The restaurant sits atop the Snake River Canyon and offers incredible views of the canyon, as well as the beautiful Perrine Bridge. If the weather is nice, I'd recommend sitting outside on the patio to soak up the views. The location is also right next to the Canyon Rim Trail, so you can take a, take a nice walk along the Canyon Rim before or after dinner. In fact, if you take the trail to the right, it's not far to reach an overlook that's right above the Perrine Coulee Waterfall. Elevation 46 has more than just a great location, however. They have a great cocktail selection, and the food was really good. The huckleberry butter and rolls were insanely delicious. And the entree menu was great. And since we were celebrating our anniversary when we were there, we even indulged in some delicious dessert. I'd highly recommend Elevation 486 on your trip to Twin Falls, Idaho. Let's move on to number six, the Perrine Bridge. At 486 feet tall and stretching more than 1,500 feet long over the Snake River Canyon, the Perrine Bridge is the eighth tallest bridge in the United States. And it's a favorite among base jumpers, as it's one of the few structures that base jumpers can actually use without a permit. It's a sight to see whether you're driving across it, walking on the pedestrian walkways, hiking beneath it, kayaking or boat boating on the Snake River, or just strolling along the Canyon Rim Trail. There are great viewpoints worth stopping at on both sides of the bridge as well. It's a great landmark in Twin Falls and seeing the base jumpers is simply a crazy sight. Speaking of the Canyon Rim Trail, that happens to be our number five top thing to do in Twin Falls, Idaho. The Snake River Canyon Rim Trail is a 12 mile long paved path that runs along the Snake River Canyon. I mentioned earlier that runs right past elevation 486 and includes a viewing platform over the top of Perrine Coulee Falls. It also passes other attractions like the Visitor Center, the Perrine Bridge, the Evil Knievel Jump Site, and Pillar Falls Trailhead. Delayed flights cost us a full day in Twin Falls, so we didn't get an opportunity to explore the full trail. But from what we did experience, it was a relatively flat paved trail with great views of the Snake River Canyon. The number four fun thing to do in Twin Falls, Idaho is the Mogensen Trail. I have to say that this trail more than exceeded our expectations. It's located near the entrance to Centennial Park. It's a 2.2 mile out and back trail that's inside the Snake River Canyon and runs along the Snake River. You'll get some great views and the trail actually goes beneath the Perrine Bridge. Once you pass under the bridge, you'll see these targets on the ground a short time later. This is the landing area for the base jumpers. We were blessed enough to see some base jumpers while we were on the trail near the landing zone. It's a pretty cool sight to see people jump off the bridge and then land right there next to you on the ground. I didn't get a shot of it, but rather than walking back out on the trail we were on, the base jumpers actually like mountain goat up the canyon wall and then climb over the wall at the top near the viewing area on the north side of the bridge. Many of them run back down the bridge to do it again. It's crazy. At number three, we have Shoshone Falls Park. Shoshone Falls Park is a must-see while in Twin Falls, and many people might have it at number one on their list. But wait until you see what we have at number one and number two. Shoshone Falls Park is a great way to see Shoshone Falls, otherwise known as the Niagara of the West. 
We were there in August, so the flow wasn't as strong as it, as it might be at some other times throughout the year, but it was still a beautiful sight. The park at the time we were there required a $5 per vehicle admission fee. It's just a short walk from the parking area to the viewing platforms to see Shoshone Falls. You can also walk along the Centennial Trail uh, for some additional viewpoints of the falls and the Snake River Canyon. It is a beautiful sight to see and a must-do while in Twin Falls, Idaho. Okay, the number two attraction in Twin Falls, Idaho is the Perrine Cooley Waterfall. I shared earlier that you can view it from above via the Canyon Rim Trail. But the best thing about Perrine Cooley Waterfall is that you can actually walk behind the waterfall. How many waterfalls are you able to actually walk behind and get that close to the waterfall? It's amazing, very cool experience. It can actually be a little confusing about how to get to the waterfall. The easiest way to get there is to drive towards Centennial Waterfront Park along the Canyon Springs Road. Right before the hairpin turn, there's some parking along the side of the road going back up the hill. I'd suggest you get out here early as the parking is limited and can fill up quickly. Getting out early also increases your chances of having this waterfall to yourselves. To get to the falls, just walk down the road to the hairpin turn and you'll see a short trail that takes you right to the waterfall. Being able to walk behind the falls is what makes this such an amazing experience. It's a beautiful scene that's a great Instagram spot. Enjoy this beautiful waterfall. The number one attraction in Twin Falls, Idaho is kayaking to Shoshone Falls. You can rent kayaks at Centennial Park, but here's the thing, there's a better way. If you do choose to rent a kayak, or if you want to use your own, it's a long haul up the falls, and even worse than that, when you get to Pillar Falls, you gotta carry your kayak across the rocks. And at time, through water, between the rocks that you can't see your steps. Depending upon how deep the water is, it could be dangerous. If you're in good physical shape and you want the challenge, it would be a great way to do it. Another option, however, is to book a boat ride and kayak tour through AWOL Adventure Sports. You can rent kayaks from AWOL as well, but if you don't want to carry your kayaks across the rocks at Pillar Falls, I highly recommend the boat ride and kayak tour. You'll take a leisurely two-mile boat ride up the Snake River to Pillar Falls. You'll exit the boat, and the guides will guide you across the rock formations where your kayaks await you on the other side. From there, you'll enter the kayaks and kayak a four-mile round trip up to Shoshone Falls and then back to Pillar Falls. There's plenty of time to grab some great pictures and videos and explore around the falls a bit before heading back. I was very happy that I discovered this option as I was not looking forward to carrying the kayak across the rocks, but that's that's just me. You might be someone who, who's out for that extra adventure and want to carry your own kayak, but um, man, I was glad that we found this option and the experience of, of kayaking up around the falls is simply an amazing experience that I highly recommend on your trip to Twin Falls. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, travel smart, my friends.